Hello everybody and welcome to Grief Helm. My name is Mr. Wooden Sheep and today we are taking a look at a game which will seem very familiar to people who have played any of the Nidhogg games because as you can tell you can actually have three stances just like that game. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be a hard game to commentate with. So you can actually have upper stance, middle stance, and lower stance. And uh, with those you can choose oh, what direction to attack in as well as what uh, direction to block in. And uh, this game... <laughs> As you can see, it's quite unforgiving. You do need to try and predict what your opponent's gonna do, and you will take one hit and die. If you don't succeed... Okay, hang on. Let's go for a low attack. Yeah, I could tell he wasn't gonna expect that one. So, uh, what this game differs from Nidhogg is there are a few game modes, there's also a campaign mode, uh, which is very interesting, and you can also play the whole campaign mode uh, in co-op with friends, which I'm actually really curious to try. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone with me right now to do that. So, uh, this is going back and forth, this is the main game mode, this is the one that you actually do see in Nidhogg, which is called Tug of War, which means that everyone dies with one hit, and uh, you push forward. You need to try and get to the enemy person's lair, basically, so once you kill them, they will respawn in five seconds, and you just run to the other side, and try and get as far as possible. Now, one thing that Nidhogg did have over this, in this game mode, that made it a little bit more interesting, in my opinion, was that you could actually kind of bypass your enemy without having to fight them so now he's on his last life and also the locations were a lot more interesting in my opinion uh, there was jumping ledge grabbing uh, although you'll see this game does do some interesting stuff as well now I'm comparing a lot to that game because it is incredibly similar in a lot of aspects but now I'll actually get to showcase some of the stuff that's a little bit more different to use perks in battle select them blah, blah, blah. yep okay so we can now fight on horseback which sounds interesting I haven't tried that yet so I'm doing the campaign mode in the top left corner you can see I've got lives if you run out of lives you're gonna have to redo the whole campaign again so as you can see I actually can choose one of these paths and I will not be able to go backwards or anything like that previously like back up here there was another path but I actually decided to come down interestingly you can see the rewards you're even gonna get which will probably change things a lot and uh, you can also get some armor perks as you just figured out so let's see we're gonna get uh, we can get the preserver perk here I'm not sure what that does I wouldn't mind some armor I don't know if that'll actually protect me probably not but I want to look cool anyway so we're gonna go to our perks here mount times one active perks okay so we actually choose to activate it and I wonder if it's gonna consume it that's kind of interesting all right I'm skipping all the little story tidbits because uh, you know, we're just gonna, we just wanna showcase the game here. Okay, so I actually have horse on a horse. Get the hell out of here, dude. Oh! Okay, he's, he doesn't die. Uh, there's a dedicated button to turning around. There you go. You have to press left trigger. This is, uh, recommended to play on a controller, but it is possible to play on a keyboard, in case you're interested in doing that. <laughs> Come on, dude. So there is also a, uh, punching button. I wouldn't really have a use for it on uh, horseback. Okay, this guy's getting destroyed. The horse is a little bit OP. Maybe you save it for opponents that you think uh, will have horse themselves? I'm not quite sure. Or maybe he kills the horse before me. Well, I'm not about to find out. Oh, nope. There you go. All right, that was really easy. <laughs> Let's do an actual normal level again. I like these flips that the horse is doing. All right, so we've gotten our armor now. Which should uh, do something, let's see. Either I'll look stylish, or I'll look, or I'll get some uh, protection, we'll see. So I equipped it, don't see any sort of change so far. So we've got another tug of war, 2v1. Now I wonder if I've got an AI with me. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that's a yes, because this is a novice difficulty mission. Let's go to horde mode? That sounds like it could be kinda interesting. Reward life. Oh, we get a life as a reward, that's kinda... That's kinda cool. Yeah, I do, I do like the campaign mode. That is quite interesting. Okay, so this is going to be actually kind of challenging, I think. Uh, I'm going to try and make use of my kicks and stuff. Ooh, he wasn't close enough. So the kick obviously will get you a little bit more room to breathe. <laughs> I'm surrounded. I just got off this ship. I don't know what these people want with me. There's also a jump button. For those that are uh, interested in doing aerial uppercut or overhead attacks. Ooh. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really uh, interested in seeing a co-op campaign thing. And also uh, a level which is a bit harder because, as we can tell, I'm a little bit pro. <laughs> Although still, one one uh, wrong move and you... Oh, okay, no, not, not in Tug of War. Or, not in uh, Horde mode. In Tug of War, you take one hit only. 
So, good, that's a little bit more forgiving because there are a lot of enemies around me, so. Yeah, I'm a face dude. I'm on a mission. I like my little hangy thing. Woo! Okay, okay, let's. We're gonna kick him. We're gonna kick him. Come on. Give me an attack. Give me an attack, buddy. Ooh, it was a lower one. Ooh! Oh, yes! He thinks he can even. Dude, okay, we're gonna do an aerial attack. Ooh! No, he blocked! Ugh, yes. <laughs> now I just need the sun rising behind me as I do it. Ooh, shit, he did one this one. Oh. Just as I was gloating about difficulty. All right, listen, I wasn't paying attention, dude. I don't think this guy's doing a, any commentary. Huh? Okay, we've got Oh, actually that was at that difficulty. All right, let's go do this one just so we don't have to see the exact same mission again. Let's go over here. So let me see my perks. Yeah, okay, the, the mounted horse thing actually got consumed. That's pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, 2v1 against this guy, and it's tug of war, so this should be pretty easy. I wonder if there's friendly fire? Let's find out. Hey, don't jump over my thing. Yep, looks like there is. Oh, no. Hey, get back here, dude. I want to <laughs> stab you. Okay, no, there is not friendly fire. Move in, dude. Move in. <laughs> there you go. There, now I feel like I have a friend, even though I don't. Yeah, my face, dude. If you're not gonna charge him, I will. And final one. Hey, how are you? Yeah, you're looking a little bit green today. You feeling all right? You take him out, man. How anticlimactic would it be if the AI, my my teammate, just killed him instead? That'd be awful. Hey, you did nothing. What do I even keep you for? What am I even friends with you for, man? All right, perk gain dexterity, earn an extra attack speed. Okay, and now our path has actually closed off, uh, and we've got another two v one tug of war. Okay, let's see what this perk does. Extra attack speed. I am going to equip it because why not? Again, that story stuff is decently written, but you know, I'm just trying to showcase gameplay here. So, oh, I just did it. <laughs> I just turned around back instead of jumping. Oh! Can't defend himself from both sides. Eh? What happens if I attack and then turn? No, I can't. I want to do some gr cool, like, oh! Like, cool 180. Yeah. Oh! Thanks, buddy. <laughs> hey, you know, you're, you're a lot better than the other teammate I had earlier. You know that? Oh! You thought I wasn't paying attention, dude? Eh? You thought I wasn't paying attention? So, I believe the store page lists uh, co-op as online and local, for those interested, you have uh, two options. There's also a... Oh, I thought I took a hit there. No, I'm gonna avenge my friend! Oh, oh he respawned, great. <laughs> right, this is tug of war. <laughs> um, there is also a tournament mode, for those people interested, uh, where I assume you can kind of... I, I believe you can set up bots as well, in case you're interested in doing that. And, um... Yeah, you can play around with loads of friends, and obviously, I mean, I don't need to explain tournament mode. It's a tournament mode, you know? The best the best of the best fight each other. Uh, what is this uh, reward escape route perk? Okay, let me see what perk I just got now. Ire, extra damage. Sounds good to me, especially because this is a three difficulty thing. Um, so, uh, opponent stats and your stats, I just noticed on the left. Interesting. So you can actually boost your damage and defense, I assume. That's what it looks like, anyway. Does this guy have a cape? I don't stand a chance. They rally around him, prepare us for a grand duel. Yes, this is how the knights of their order desire their wars. Man stands against man. Nothing interferes. Wow. Well, if he's wearing a cape, I want it. And I better get it as a reward if I kill him. Hello? You want to find me, dude? Oh, there you go. So I wonder if the background changes according to what path I take. Oh my god. Oh, he's really he's really pressuring me here. Oh. <laughs> Take advantage of when he misses. Okay, so this is the skirmish game mode where you uh take a few hits it seems like, but you also respawn and it's a uh, best of. Oh, our swords clashed there. No. No. Oh! I went down. Or did it really happen? 
feels like a dream. Alright, come on, buddy. We're gonna settle this. Mano y mano, in front of our ships. No. Okay, fine, attack me. Ooh, it was an under undercut. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. The attacks are actually quite fast. You really do need to react quickly. Alright, now I'm ready. Or I could just be overly aggressive like this. And then... Ooh, and then... Like that. <laughs> hey! If I can't see his attacks coming... Oh, I cut his leg off. Oh, my. Is this the last round? Oh, this is getting intense. Oh, who's gonna win? Come on, guys. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. Oh, yes. And one final one. No, he didn't come close enough. Oh, shit. This is getting a bit... A little, little bit... Oh, he did an under from a jumping? He jumped and did an undercut. That's so... That caught me off guard so bad. Alright, well... We do still have lives, right? Was it not to be? I guess we don't. <laughs> no. Alright, let's uh, try that again. I'll just take another path quickly and we can actually check it out like that. But uh, I've lost my armor, I've lost my perks that I've obtained, and now I start anew. <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing that the environment here is all beach, although the rewards look different. I'm not sure if the game modes that you play are different or not, but so it seems it, it, it differs a little bit, I mean, at least mechanically. The fact that you're getting different rewards is already different enough, so that's interesting. So we're actually going to get a little bit of a different environment now, which is nice because I kind of had my feel of that beach. Wave 1, okay yeah, and this is actually a different game mode. Uh, I tested this campaign earlier a little bit from the top, and uh, I was doing a uh, skirmish in this first level, so now we've got a horde mode. Come at me! Maybe you shouldn't swing when you're so far and then come to when you're exposed, huh? Alright, I'm gonna do an upper... Lower! Oh, Let's try it again! Oh, Okay, okay, let's try it again! There you go! I'll do it like your leader did, even though your leader was a different color, which means he was probably not your leader and for another faction instead. Oh, we're up here! Fight me on the rock, buddy! So I was comparing it to uh, Nidhogg at the beginning of the... Ooh, did he just friendly fire? Oh, and then he caught me. It was worth it, though, because he caught me. I was comparing it to Nidhogg. Uh, they do actually play decently differently. Now that I've spent a little bit more time in this, it, this is a little bit more simulation-y, I suppose. Um, Nidhogg is very fast-paced, and there's a lot of jumping around, like I said earlier. And uh, I do actually like both in their own right. I guess there's also different art style um, appeals to different types of players. And the atmosphere is different. Well, I guess the atmosphere in the first Nidhogg is kind of similar to this. They're a little bit dark and uh, almost sad and weird. I don't know, there's something. Ooh, we've got to pay attention. Oh, overhead, dude. All right. Wait, four? Three? Oh, boy. Oh, we've got a bridge here. We've got to fight on the bridge. Ooh. Oh, my God, that was close. Yes. Okay, so these AI, at least on the lower difficulties, they seem to be swiping at random times. Or not random, but a little bit more carelessly. If you just kind of back out, you don't need to block. You just need to back out and come in when they're uh, winding back up. Or winding down, I should say. I do like the trees here in this foreground. It kind of adds a little bit of something to the, to the battles. Alright, let's do one more level. So we've got, uh, yeah, armor obtained. Wonderful. So we've got a uh, novice difficulty here with a claimer perk. We're not going to do a, another novice one. And tug of war. We've got horde where you get a plume. A red plume. Oh, and a different weapon. I did see a little bit of that in the trailer. I saw that you could have like a war hammer. Yeah, let's try that. Maybe we can do one more level after that with the spear just to kind of try it out. Because I'm kind of curious to see how different the other stuff plays. Uh, I didn't see what game mode this is. I'm just going to assume I'll die in one hit, so... Oh boy. Come at me, dude. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Whew. So this is probably skirmish? Yeah. <laughs> I like this uh, cool, edgy little screen that fades in when someone wins. Oh, he's doing it over. Oh, I actually had the right direction, but I cancelled by starting to attack. No. There you go. Now I'll teach you for holding your spear. <laughs> he looks pretty passive with the spear. I'm gonna show him how to actually use it in the next level. 
You gotta be a lot more aggressive with the spear, dude. Alright. Ooh! Whoa, okay, so the kick is faster than his spear attack, which is nice. Yeah! Did you really think he'd survive, dude? Look at these 360s. Alright, give me the spear, we'll finish this off with one more spear fight. Because I am very curious to see how other weapons play. So, uh, let's just see, reward life, visibility, flame blade perk. Alright, let's go with a cadet level, tug of war, or skirmish. Let's do skirmish, I kind of do enjoy it in the end. Let me make sure that I do have everything equipped. Yes. Oh, and the armor does actually affect you. Slows you down and adds armor. Makes perfect sense. Now I wonder if the speed is my walking speed or if my it's my attacking speed as well. Well, that's something to find out another time. Alright, so we got my spear here. Let's see, so I'm gonna see my block in the same way. Try me out, dude. Come on, come at me. Oh, he did an up, under, lower. Whoa, did he feign? He feigned. The game actually mentioned that there would be a few more advanced techniques that you kind of pick up on yourself. Get the hell out of my face, dude. I think my armor saved me because he did hit me at some point. But I killed him with one hit. All right, let me see if I can feign. He, it seemed like he did it with a grapple type. Maybe you can't do it with a spear. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Ooh, no, the tree got in the way. All right. <laughs> Damn AI, I can see exactly what's going on even with the tree. I guess the attacker has the advantage with the tree or with anything in the foreground because they know exactly. I mean, it doesn't matter. They know exactly what they've attacked. But the defender can't see exactly where they're coming from. All right, come on. Come on, dude. I want to see if I can block. Ooh, stop jumping. You're confusing me. Come on. Oh, <laughs> no, no, it was a side. It's hard to, it's hard to understand the telegraph, the, yeah, the telegraphs, I guess. You definitely will learn as you play more, but right now I'm a rookie. I'm a cadet. Come on. I could be killing you. I just, I just want to, I'm just trying to block. Damn it. <laughs> well, it wasn't meant to be. All right, thank you for watching, everybody. That's Grief Helm. I, uh, I hope it was a decent <laughs> showcase of the game. It's interesting. It definitely... I think it can stand on its own. Uh, and both Nidhogg and this can uh, exist in the, same, in the same universe. They kind of both have their own unique gameplay mechanics. So, but yeah, I enjoyed it. The game will be releasing on the 20th of August. If you want to pick it up for yourself or wishlist it, there's a link in the description to do so. And if you want to discuss this game or anything else, check out a link in the description to join our Discord group. Alright, thank you so much for watching, I've been Mr. Wooden Sheep, you've been watching Game Watcher, and we'll see you next time.